Marasmus. This video is about retro gaming. I've brought myself this 16 bit handheld portable PXP PVP games console. It boasts that it has 150 retro Mega Drive DS video games on it. So I thought I'd show you guys. Oh. So this is obviously what the console looks like. It's quite snazzy. I mean, it was only a tenner, so ten pounds that is. So I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but. I really loved retro games when I was younger, so let's see what it does. And it's got this cable, what you can plug it into the TV with what later on I'm going to do more videos to show you guys me playing them and stuff. But this video is just to show you guys what kind of games are on here. So you've got cartridge as well. Won't oh, get it in focus. Oh <laughs> um it boasts how many games is on there, but that's obviously not true because I just said it's 150 games on there. I think they just sell it, say it as a selling point, but to be honest, whatever is on there for £10, you can't really go wrong. And obviously, you've got the cable to charge it up as well because it's got a battery pack in it. At the back, you just put it in there. So that's it, really, for as in how it looks. I mean, it's, it's quite chunky, it doesn't feel flimsy at all for the price. Don't know what it's going to be like, if it's going to be any good or not, but we'll just see. We'll just see, and obviously the manual. Got the manual. Um, so it says what everything is and how everything works and all that jazz. Okay, I never heard of Zumba Bubbles. Angry Birds was not quite my joy, but it's still okay, so Street, Street of Rage, X Men. I mean, when I was younger, I used to always like quite random games, to be honest with you. Shredder 2. Mm -hmm. Smurfs. I'm going to flick through them because some of them... I mean, you guys might know and I might not know. Because obviously everyone's going to like different... Obviously, Sonic the Hedgehog, you all know then. Sonic 3D, that was pretty cool in its time. I remember having that on Mega Drive. I thought it was so amazing because it's 3D. <laughs> Echo, the dolphin, I always remember that one. Comic, space head, is it space head or something like that? Do you remember that one? Oh, oh, is that Chuck Rock? Yeah, Chuck Rock's got the baby one, so it must have been the next one all from Chuck Rock. No, I don't remember that one. Batman Revenge. Ghouls, Ghosts, Ghostbusters, <laughs> didn't actually have that, but I do remember seeing it. I used to always get my games from um, this game shop, you could, literally, you could um, like hire them for a little while, like a couple of nights, and then play them and take them back, it was pretty cool because games were quite expensive back then, and when you're younger you didn't have lots of money, so it's more like pocket money. And it was always good because you could um, have them for a bit and then play them. Because most of the time in games back right, then you couldn't save stuff. And then if you really liked it you could buy it. But then if you weren't that keen it didn't really matter. Some of these are quite random aren't they? This is at the moment what is just on the console. I haven't put cartridges in yet that my hair made. Toy Story? Wow. That's quite later on, wasn't it? Okay, some of them are repeating again. Hmm. Hmm. That just sound is pretty good. I think it's just coming through this little chip. Oh! I'm turning on a bit. Oh wow, very impressed with the graphics. I've seen that it said it's 16 bit, but I don't know if you can hear me then. Seeing that it said it's 16 bit, but back then the games were obviously only 16 bit anyway. Mm. Oh, this is not me playing, this is just showing. I only play part of it because I'm obviously just showing you what it looks like. Might sound even better on through the TV later on. It's quite hard to play like this to be honest. But 
really hard to play like this because I'm trying to not hold it so you guys can see the, can see the graphics. But, I'd say, it, it is amazing. Paying the price. Yeah. I'm turning into turtles. Well, it's not that. I don't know what the that is. Let's go for. Oh, let's get that back on the other three dollars. I don't know how many. I don't know how many didn't read this anyway. This one first. So I think you have to turn it off. And it guess goes in this slot here. Oh, there you go. It's in there. Oh, so it's got a friend in. Oh, I used to love that. Oh. Different music with this one. Okay, let's try that friend in. Obviously, that's the Simpsons one. Alex Kid. Oh, I love Alex Kid. So it's got some really random ones and really cool ones. I'm gonna find Jim again. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? I'm gonna play a little bit of Alex Kid. That's pretty hard to play with, isn't it? Oh! Okay. Gonna try this one now. have that one. I remember liking that one. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I used to like this one as well, Simpsons Nightmare. Yeah, if there's any games, retro games that you used to love, obviously put in the comment box below and let us know what kind of stuff. Oh, James Pond was hilarious. I used to like that one too. Adam's family. Huh? Adam's family. Do -do -do. Ooh, 
yeah, there is about 100 and, I don't know, maybe 150 or maybe a bit less. But there's some cool ones on here. I mean, for the price, it's, I'd say it's worth getting just for the whole retro-ness of it all, really. And it does work really well, as in it's very responsive. It would work better, obviously, when I'm holding it, playing the game, than just trying to show you guys what games is on here and things. Anyway, I hope you liked this review. Like I say, I'm going to do a retro gaming one to come next. So, see, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.